not too good today about three hours of sleep but I see these elections in the US coming up let's go with this here uh, what did they say here North Korean troops to join Russian army in Ukraine, Putin tit for tat strike against West, etc., etc. Yeah. But Trump says he would encourage Russia to attack NATO allies who don't pay their bills February 2024 um, you know uh, Donald Trump is not everything that is wrong with uh, a failure of American politics you know American politics are failing I mean they are just totally totally decaying apart I mean Anywhere from Niger joining BRICS, right? Now it's already Nigeria, okay? Now it's already Nigeria, look at that. Uh, but Niger, look, Niger. As you have uh, Malaysia, Malaysia joined BRICS. Malaysia joined BRICS because of Joe Biden. That's not that's not uh, Donald Trump. Uh, Israel, Gaza. So this isn't about necessary Donald Trump. This stuff here. You know, I just want to point you out why America is falling apart with a speed of light. You see, Malaysia is not Malaysia is not siding with the Russia or anything like this. But uh, this Gaza genocide, you know. This is what, you know, Joe Biden scored a lot of victories for BRICS because Joe Biden, ladies and gentlemen, the man who enforces the crime against me here in Slovenia, a criminal who demanded Slovenian police to solve the case even though he knew that everything was wrong with that issue. Uh, he contemplates, your President Joe Biden contemplates on you Americans joining also BRICS. Joe Biden contemplated during MKUltra since 2010 about United States of America also becoming a BRICS member. So the difference between the Donald Trump and between Joe Biden, I don't see how it's about same shit, different package. Now, you know, um, Donald Trump, uh, the way I see this, he also has, um, I don't know, this is, this is guy is very impulsive and, and, and uh, you know, he definitely will go into the category of mentally retarded people, mentally ill people people with some sort of very serious also what I see as a mental issues. Donald Trump, I have observed him during MKUltra, did not have a capacity to handle anything. I think if he went to the bed with a lady, he wouldn't last about probably 10 seconds. I, he was just, this is just individual that doesn't have a capacity, doesn't have ability to carry on and handle the stress deal with it efficiently uh, and we always good look forward to making somebody miserable life so he alone can cope with shit 
uh, it's not really um, doesn't really apply to somebody socially uh, endangered or somebody socially isolated in in economic distress or something like that but he this is what he's sucking he's sucking the energy from seeing poverty creating poverty uh, creating misery um, yeah he can he is you know not everything about Donald Trump is so bad Donald Trump also has a positive uh, he also has a he also has a positive uh, charisma like for instance he knows how to make himself look more stupid than what he actually is stupid which is like really really appealing to foreign leaders like Russian leaders it's like really really high quality because um, Donald Trump kind of figure out that the US government behind him is so big so mighty and it's not his fault because a mentally retarded people like this it's what the US government uh, awards with wealth unlimited prestige for as long as they can get other politicians on board at least they communicate with them they have some kind of touch with them and so on uh, but it is almost sounds like Joe Biden Joe Biden got together with Donald Trump they would transfer Mount Evers of American technology to Russians uh, they also supplied Indian military with the weaponry they would also sub I don't know about the Chinese because Chinese got a lot from uh, Russia if not everything um, and this way the US is dragging the whole thing forwards like for instance Texas fighter jets were totally designed by Joe Biden this is a Joe Biden's gift to India uh, from the US in uh, some very very similar manner like uh, Saab Gripen like Swedish Saab Gripen but there is more autonomy in a Swedish Saab Gripen but this, this is this is what the problem is with all this stuff you know the problem is with all this stuff is that today being a member of NATO uh, if you're not European country it's it's like well that's also true you know the problem that NATO has is they don't hand the membership out to to the countries such as Japan North Korea and you know these are big problems uh, let me see actually let me see that they, they call them allies it's called American allies you know it's called American allies West Western allies NATO member states well the thing is that uh, you know <laughs> the thing is that are you gonna fucking reform your motherfucker union or you're gonna fail because on a grand scale right now you are failing with a speed of light anywhere from Africa all the way to Asia and <laughs> yeah you're running a politic for which you deem that soon you won't even have to worry about that's a really like a big politic but I'm telling you one thing if you're not gonna smash cr uh, Russia down in this war completely you're not winning shit you're losing on a big picture so I guess that this is the cards you played on but God forbid if you don't make it with this uh, we're gonna see a gradual decrease of you in every sphere of life let's see this uh, funny NATO member states I find it crazy that uh, uh, yeah the yeah the yeah the US and uh, it's nothing new Canada that's Northern America yeah as you would expect uh, Northern Macedonia and Montenegro are not gonna save you those are really not even a real member NATO member states 
Um, so yeah, I mean, you don't have anything. I mean, Turkey, you 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 go as far as Turkey. You <laughs> you made it as far as Turkey. Congratulations. All right. Uh, at least something. All right. You have Turkey on board, but other than that, this is like a club of misery here. You got this European states here. You got uh, U.S. and Canada and uh, Guala. That's like I said. As far as the Turkey, uh, uh, you know, I'm afraid the world is is uh, is a little bit bigger place. It's a little bit bigger game that is played out. And the worst about all this stuff, the stuff I have spoken about, why this is becoming even smaller and smaller and smaller not really this member states but why this stuff is becoming smaller and smaller as far as global picture um, pertaining to reputation of the NATO itself you know the NATO is efficiency capability uh, well you know it's it's actually quite insane that you would not have like Japan and, and South Korea in in a NATO. I mean, this is insane, you know. It, to me personally, I consider it's I don't know, <clears throat> you know, these two countries definitely. Um, about the Philippines, I don't know. I don't know about the Philippines. Um, Philippines have a strong influence from China too. Uh, it's still influenced by the China, I think, at least now it's a question these days might not be because now the tensions are becoming bigger and bigger in the uh, in the sea around the uh, Philippines. Uh, but then you have some other countries that are that you know embrace this you know <laughs> the thing is that you know you you have a big big fucking problem here because you see this country is here this Malaysia and you have this Singapore and you have this uh, Indonesia and you have you have all this here uh, not Australia Australia you made it uh, I'm not gonna comment on that one but you have all these countries here that you know you could profit from within you could profit from within and you have here you have uh, you have countries here in in Africa also that would be also I bet some of them would be interested moving forward from uh, this stage of being humbled uh, you know with a goat of the past basically slavery uh, horror uh, they would be interested in moving forward you know I know that Saudi Arabia would be interested in very much in moving forward. I know that, uh, you know, imagine one thing. Yeah, imagine one thing. I mean, this is what I call a, a complete fuck up of American diplomacy. It's like this is supposed to be some kind of multiracial country and and uh, multi ethnic and this and that. You did not even make a fucking progress enough to get one. Arab country on board that uh, even if it fits your cars on a daily basis within last 80 years um, okay uh, since NATO you did not manage to get one one just one single Arab country doesn't matter if it's small whatever it is you did not even manage to get Kuwait or anybody regardless how wealthy you also yeah on board of NATO one fucking country one single fucking country I mean when it comes to Turkey congratulations to you congratulations to you but you know <laughs> uh, bitching about uh, NATO membership dues is not gonna pay your bills because you know you know what you got such a big 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 fucking problem I don't know how much you are aware of it at NATO but you have a countries like South Korea countries like Japan countries like Italy you have countries like Germany and you have countries like you have a whole fucking number of countries that some like I said even uh, NATO members that no longer want to work on your fucking projects because you stink so fucking much because you know 
because it doesn't pay them to work on your projects. It doesn't pay motherfuckers to work on your F-35 or whatever project you have. Development of your new projects. It doesn't pay them because the Russian got the fucking military equipment and then the next thing you have, China has the same military equipment before they manage to secure for themselves all the work they invest in a science research a new project. I mean, you fucking, you fuck your allies. They're not members, NATO members, but you fuck your allies faster than what they manage to benefit from your fucking degenerated American uh, military projects. I mean, I wouldn't even go into British that's like the biggest fuck up in that's like the worst that's like so fucking bad that when they started to develop this fighter jets in canada and uh, they developed this one outstanding fighter jet that would not even its project would not even come to actually i think they create this plane it's really outstanding beautiful beautiful fighter jet they did the canadians worked really hard <laughs> this is what i uh this is what i this is what you know it it's confusing but canadian made fighter jet yeah there you go avro canada cf 105 oh they made it species they have two species of this right the was the best japan jet in the world and this and that, okay, all right, made in Canada, why not? It's sure it was. Well, the thing is that um, uh, Canada CF-105 Arrow, uh, it was shut down, this stuff, this baby was shut down. Uh, Soviet copy. You know, the Sovietsky, Soyuz, <laughs> this is here, the jet was betrayed by the camera. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the story is much more demented. Uh, it was the British Royals that Canada, Canadian taxpayers. I mean, they met with the Ruski, with the so Soyuz Sovietsky, and <whistles> in he went. Not south of border, but uh, in direction toward uh, oh shit Canada is kind of close to the Russia in a way yeah it went to to Russia Soyuz Sovietsky taram tam taram tam and this was it for the Canada arrow and so the Canadians realized this taxpayers Canadian realized oh uh, we we will we work so hard, you know, and uh, <laughs> now this, and it was a Russian, whatever the whatever the plane. I I studied this stuff a while ago. I'm not gonna go into this stuff. I don't know which plane it was, a MiG fighter jet, whatever it was, uh, just as good. So. Uh, the Canadians realized, said, heh, they said, fuck, what's the point of it? Well, there was no point of it. Um, well, the Canadians decided it's better to close this uh, fighter jet manufacturing and just uh, either purchase it from Americans or move it down to America. And yeah, they did this. They moved it down to America from Canada. Uh, they, the money they would otherwise spend, and hey, what the fucking visits from London, a eh, motherfucker, say, eh? come on, no, see your production a little bit, and the Romanovs get your fucking secrets out of the door before you know you got nothing, eh? It's your enemy that is waving on you with just about the same, if not even better. Uh, with a little improvement of what your Canadian taxpayers paid for. Uh, so this is funny, man. Uh, so what the Canadians did was they keep some research facilities that they still play with this a little bit. 
they do the designing and stuff and they actually they incorporate this on a territory that is safe enough from uh, maybe royal visits uh, is there like anything safe enough I mean the, the word the more it goes to the hell I think the less the more clearance these people have the more they penetrate the more they work uh, the engineer their picture you know their vision uh, that fits their uh, I don't know <laughs> uh, imagination I think because a royal agenda doesn't have anything doesn't have any fucking touch with reality zero touch with reality and so what Donald Trump is crying about uh, well, you know you are not gonna pay or not a membership and this and that do you know just how many projects you Americans fuck it up uh, a common projects like with Japanese with the South Koreans with uh, Italians with uh, Germans with European do you know how many projects that you jingle the fuck away I mean you know how much money that you fucking jingle? you know how it works this stuff do you know how it works okay I'm a NATO member state here how much do you want you want so much okay here is my I pay you here I pay you and what exactly do I get for that I get I get uh, protection uh, from other NATO member states same as I have to offer other Na uh, NATO member states if, it, if the worst comes to worse yes I do uh, and uh, I get to um, also share uh, I am obligated actually obligated yes uh, more obligated than not to share with you also you offer me a common project to say uh, we're going to build F-35 all right so we are looking for the partners we're looking for and we're going to do and we're going to work on together on this project and so on so we look for investors and we look for this and that. so what we do is we start build this machine together and now everything I have in my labs everything I have in my from my people that I work in this projects for many years to develop a new model of something uh, and it could be something else it could be I don't know it could be some other weapon whatever it might be you know what happens is now uh, it's we work together on this project right and you know Americans hmm, they're 330 million and they are most efficient economy meaning that they run oil they run uh, you know they pretty much run the industry defense industry manufacturing industry they, they, they can if they don't they can they can quickly turn if they don't run it's because they give somebody advantage over something so they run for them so that they disperse them in some other form actually their ally disperses them in purchasing weaponry or wherever wherever the case might be it doesn't matter it just that's how it works uh, they work with the partners which is a really decent thing to do and this is the way to go uh, but it's a big problem with it it's a big problem when you have when you have clowns behind the scene meeting with one another uh, it's it's a tremendous tremendous problem uh, when you when you have crazy clowns you know just going around and just acting more retarded than what actually they're retarded they're actually searching for ways on how to look like beyond the retarded so that they could be more appealing to the Russian side that's a non-official American partner very long time ago if you followed my blog very long very long ago already uh, and the same thing is with the China pretty much more and more and questionable what is not uh, America would also go for India we see the thing is that between India China and Russia uh, they do the same thing they intercommunicate they exchange this and what's happening is 
they're they're not catching up but in some area they already are exceeding this western nato defense uh, technology expectations and you see now you have a big fucking problem now you have big dilemma that you're meeting with that the japanese south korean italian german all these defense people they're fucking meeting with a big fucking dilemma are we going to be paying so much and so much for nato uh, since uh, you know the problem is let's say that we're going to start build a project and as we we build the project as soon as the, this project gets built and it's it goes into the into the circulation my little country let's say in south korea or my little country in let's say japan is not even small or my little italy or germany or france or whatever it is we have a big fucking problem with this stuff because you see the thing is that we're not so big yeah, each of these countries are not so big it's a smaller country and for us to catch up this evolution of what we gave you you know i can tell you that uh, i just will give you a concept on how it works um let's just say it's a cable and you need certain machine to squeeze this uh and uh, i don't know maybe the type of technology the concept whatever it is it might lead to a next stage in manufacturing uh, where you're gonna have a machine that is gonna go like this and boom and it's gonna make manufacture the whole thing at once this is just hypothetically cable and uh, usb port and everything just at once i'm just giving you an example what happens is the one who is manufacturing who invented this machines to to do this to squeeze that say you just uh, uh, <clears throat> how you say the hell uh, press okay just press this part stick tick 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 there was one time evolution this guy's no evolution anymore the Americans as soon as they got this they were like oh very good thank you very much uh, thank you we're gonna use it uh, okay beam 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 oh very good uh, another engineer comes oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, but you know, we can offer better. Bam. Uh, so started that concept and then developed something new. And you know what happens with this uh, manufacturer over there, wherever this come from, this initial thing. Um, he loses the business. But it's something worse that happens. Um, he is out because it's better technology. This is a bigger problem with this stuff. His country is out too, because in meanwhile they have been so all the money they invested in it, they have been outsourced. They have been outsourced. The the big fucking problem is that uh, this outsourcing go forward so quickly that uh, these countries that each of these countries that gave certain thing. To create this beautiful project whatever it is um for for as uh, long as america is yeah is okay we get all this and this 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 um russians i have chinese i have this and that um for as long as we are number one very good very good but when the new project already comes out of what i demonstrated you on american side um that's when they're totally totally outsourced because now it's a new project it's a better f-35 than what f-35 was whatever the plane is going to be doesn't matter and uh, that one already was in service for so long as so long and now you have a politicians like donald trump or joe biden that come around somewhere behind the curtain as they do as they regularly meet one another uh and what happens is for the mullah for the uh for the little extra or maybe for the craziness maybe for the lunacy uh, the blueprint of you know this thing not this one here goes to russia 
Mamachka Rasiya. Now what happens is those planes that your partners in NATO uh, all these NATO member states that they purchased from your program uh, you know even that it was good it was good for the time being for let's say South Korea or Japan or Italy or whoever working that common project with whoever uh, they're fucking out man they're not being they're not being outsourced I mean they're being like fucking outsmarted totally all of a sudden you go with your F-35 and you look through the window and you see the Russian coming and it's like whew, uh, going past you basically uh, laughing at you <laughs> you know the costs that come would you talk that NATO states don't pay you know you are a fuck up you're a fucking mentally deranged fucker fuck that nobody wants to see on the internet you're making people vomit whether they are in Asia or in Africa or in South America you motherfucker <coughs> uglier than ugly motherfucker nobody wants to see you and you're a catastrophe you're a fucking financial catastrophe both of you fuckers that are pushing NATO and the whole Western Alliance NATO pushing NATO from expanding forward and the whole Western Alliance into a fucking collapse on the long term with more and more countries churning against your Zio fascist Judaistic fascism that you are promoting along your Nazi agenda people wherever the fuck they are in the world their stomachs are turning around so the thing is that if you aren't gonna make it to the Moscow you're gonna be fucked thanks for watching this video no it doesn't pay it doesn't pay anymore even to work on this common projects because you have a motherfucker that goes out there and in, in the common project that you work it's a Russian that is going to benefit far more from this project for a little moolah, for a little extra, for a little oil trade, or whatever fucking trade, mineral trade, whatever it will be. That's going to purchase your fucking country out, that partnerships. It's the worst fucking thing because of the, the fucking state secrets get out. Uh, defense industry. Uh, Vladimir Putin the other day bragged about that the difference became so small that yeah I mean you're you guys are fuck-ups you guys can handle shit really and what made you smart in this whole thing I was the one because well, for that matter I had to be beaten up really good jerked up and beaten up really good so that I would look as funny as possible and you a smart spot you really needed imagine motherfuckers you too how smart you needed to look in front of your senators in front of your uh, Republican and Democratic scumbags to advocate your existence your fucking miserable existence basically apologized budget that is being thrown in a trash bin you know you are you are actually sabotaging yourself why you're doing this well you're doing this you're doing this kind of stuff because that's that's again totally different question but because because I don't like this word because you're not straight I don't like this word but you're not straight in a sense that you're running the country you're not running the country uh, you are running what is known as abstract art and this abstract art is becoming more and more abstract the picture is becoming more and more cloudy Hey, I don't think that you ever had any clear pictures in your heads. That's why you fuck up the world. And in the last 30 years, the world have even taken a really, really sharp turn for a fuck up. Uh, and it didn't have to be that way. Uh, but it's like Putin stated, the difference is getting very, very small. And we can expect in the future to get even smaller and 
you know, at one point in time, you're going to have America. They're going to come and they're going to, you know, they're going to go and they're going to hear. We would like to join the BRICS. We are here to apply for the BRIC membership like Joe Biden already contemplated on. A genius, you're American genius, you're grand master, you're genius. You know, you're going to be, you in for your future wise, you already have idiot in the United States of America who represented you. was a very good friend with Kim Jong-un. Uh, he already crossed Kim Jong-un ideas on how to also uh, enforce in America uh, you're gonna have the same way the same thing it's like the Korean North Korean commercial played out and it says uh, you're gonna be happy if you're gonna have a cup of cold coffee motherfuckers the way the things are going you know because the world doesn't have so much money, the people don't have so much money, they're gonna keep paying for projects that are fucking road to nowhere. The projects that the other side is profiting from more, far more, and that always result in time being fucking lost, state secrets thrown out, uh, taking additional money, additional sources, uh, insanity to catch up the step, impossible to, to catch up the step with. It's like you guys stated me that if I would support China, uh, it would be like uh, financing the war against Russia on one end and paying for the Russian war on the other end. Uh, that's precisely what the fuck you are doing. You're just uh, now you're aware of it. Actually, this is the thing. This is what makes you. You are totally aware of this stuff, but you know, um, I don't know. You're trying to make time interesting or something like this. You're trying to buy time. Today, I'm not going to stop at the police station because I slept about three hours. I had something stupid before I went to sleep last night. And uh, this health problem is uh, very, very challenging. It's a big, big problem for me. But I did good progress yesterday, so uh, unfortunately I will not stop at the police station and today is Friday. But uh, for that matter, I have to still complete audio and then I have to do some other video. I shouldn't do the whole thing really in respect to some other issues so uh, we'll see each other on Monday for that matter but that's all I wanted to clarify about where the whole picture is taking what's going on what's happening uh, for me for my taste you are fucking incompetent you have not learned anything during the last 50 years other than self-sabotage yourself deliberately and along with you also other members supporters uh, it's a shame a real shame that Japan and Korea are not inside of the NATO this is disgusting it would make you look so much more normal I know you don't like the word humane but it would make you look more normal all right thanks for watching this video Donald Trump is a here Ukraine I read some news now I'm not paying this this is this is this is deranged this is this guy's mentally retarded this is no that I would go and discuss this stuff this is this I would I mean you have to be primitive to answer actually the stuff like this this is you know it's already the policy the other side that doesn't exist anywhere that's already bad enough that's what i wanted to discuss today that's all sad story very very sad story <laughs>